Hey team, Coach Gary here. Welcome to the Brick and Block Podcast for growing your masonry business. This is episode 12. Do you have a friendly website? And this is part of our mini-series that we're, we're holding on mobile-friendly websites. So this is Coach Gary's Marketing Moment, Part 2. Okay, hey team, Coach Gary here. Now, you've heard me say that a few days ago on episode 11, I gave you part one of my Coach Gary's marketing moments. Well, this is part two. And after I published that episode, I listened and I thought about it and I decided that it's it's not as complete as I'd like. So let me add a few important things for you, okay? But none of it geeky stuff, I promise. First and very easy... I want you to run a test. Here's how you do this. Go to Google on your phone and type in the words mobile friendly test. Now give it a second and you'll see it ask for your domain name. Like if it's www.fredjonesmasonry.com, that's the domain name. It should pop right up with, hopefully it'll say, page is mobile friendly and uh, a lot of times when it does that it'll show up as green font and it'll say right below it that this page is easy to use on a mobile device this is good news for you and then below that there's a spot to click that says view well click there and then you can see what your website looks like to other people when they google you on their mobile devices this is good to know it's good to see well, click out of it, open up Google again, type in your domain name, your website name again, and click on it. And see how long it takes to fully display. Does it take a fraction of a second, several seconds, half a minute? Google is looking for websites to open up in less than two and a half seconds. Well, why is all this so important? Well, Google's thing is that it wants users to have a great search experience. And the degree to which people have that great experience drastically affects ranking of your website. And all that means is that the highest ranking websites get seen by the most people. So in a perfect world, you want to be on page one at the top. And the closer you are to the top, the more likely to be seen. People rarely get as far as the second page on any search. Now, finally, on this topic, let me add one more nugget. Google uses half a dozen or so factors to determine its friendliness. And in order, they are, and this is, by the way, assuming that your content is relevant. But these are the things that Google factors in. First one is do pages load fast. Speed's important to Google. They want things to to be responsive and happen fast. Are they interactive? Can you click on them and and, and do stuff on them? Um, Are they stable? So they're looking for visual stability. Do when, When you type on them or move around on them, do things jump around or are they stable? Stability is important. The number four consideration is, is it mobile friendly? Fifth is safe to browse. And the last is, if if your website begins with HTTPS, that means there's a SSL certificate on it. It just basically means that it's, it's certified as a secure website. Won't go into the details on that right now. But to be aware of, in other, is it, in other words, when people go to your website, and if your website begins with HTTP and not HTTPS, then there's going to be a warning. It's like a triangle sign, a road warning sign. It, if it begins with HTTPS, there will not be a warning. It's more secure, and secure sites rank higher. In episode 11, I suggested you take a look at brickandblockpodcast.com, our 
podcast website and see how quickly that website opens, how easy it is to read, navigate, and so on. But I've got another good one for you to take a look at. This one is a masonry website, and it's really cool looking. At least I think so. Now, for kicks, check this masonry website, which is at Best Brick Block Stone Masonry. Dot com. Best Brick Block Stone Masonry dot com. It's a sample website, but this will give you a, an idea about a modern site. It's suitable either for residential or commercial, and it's a handy um, example for comparison purposes or, or getting a few ideas that you can implement on your own site. But notice the speed, how everything is relevant to the masonry category. It's safe, secure, it's easy to browse, just like we were talking about. But let me know what you think. And let me know of any questions you have regarding that. Okay, now, today was part two of Coach Gary's Marketing Moments. Next week, we've got a part three coming your way. So be sure and check it out. All right, team, that's it for today. If you missed any of those websites, just email me and I'll get them to you. Now, you can reach out to us by email at brickandblockpodcast at gmail.com and be sure and spell out the and in that, A-N-D, brickandblockpodcast at gmail.com and include your first and last name. Now, also be sure and join us for the next episode of, what is it? It's the Brick and Block Podcast. And make sure you hit the subscribe or the follow or the like button because we want you here for the next episode. Now, for the Brick and Block Podcast, this is Coach Gary. Thanks for stopping by.